hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we will be doing the dopest video on youtube today with the cricut and the cricut press it will be sublimating on a dollar tree mug we've all been trying to figure out how to do it we've all been tracking our head and frustrated with the blurry wet pictures but today we've made a crack in discovery watch this video and find out how all right you guys so the way that i get that beautiful mug and the way that i design it in cricut design space is basically uh pretty simple you get the images or the image that you want to be on your mug in this case i won't want to be on one side and want to be on the other so I went ahead and put those two together and I'm going to grab a square um, just to create that rectangle that will wrap around the mug. If you were doing like a full wrap, um, that would be the size of this rectangle. I know that my mug is 9 inches so I'm going to pull this to 8 inches. Okay, clicking 8 will be much easier so let's do that. Let's go up here and put 8 and enter. And then going up and down vertically, I'm going to put it 3.5 because it goes up to about four inches and it also has a lip around the top, kind of like um just like a little lifted lip, so I can't make it too high. All right. So that is the measurement, and I made sure that my shapes were smaller than that. I'm going to make it white as well as send it to the back of um the project. So now that my images come to the front and I'm seeing what we're working with, all right, and I'm going to attach them just so they're not moving all around and that it's not like two squares that has to be um, scanned when it is time to cut. So now that they are attached, I know what I like and I see how I want it to be. I'm going to go ahead and duplicate Pikachu and I'm going to duplicate Bulbasaur. The reason why we're doing that is because in order to get that um, sublimation on a Dollar Tree mug, you will have to use Sister Vinyl, Sister um, Glitter Vinyl to be exact. So we're going to have to cut that out as well as cut out the printed image that we have through sublimation. We're going to change the one that's going to be the Sister Glitter Vinyl to a basic cut. So now you'll just have a basic image just like that, okay? That is what it'll look like. We no longer need the square because we have all of our measurements and everything that we needed. So you can just go ahead and delete that. And this is what we're looking at. This is what we're going to need for this project. If you guys want to make it a lot easier um, and you don't care about um, cutting them out individually, I believe you can flatten it. And now it will just cut out the whole square, if I'm not mistaken, just like that and you'll cut out the whole square just like this you'll just have them exactly the same and it'll help a lot much it'll help a lot more when it comes to aligning it but because i don't want to do that and i also like to save my vinyl i like to keep them close together um and just let them cut just like that okay so we're going to go ahead and click make it from here we're going to mirror both of these and once both of them are mirrored, you go ahead and follow the rest of the steps to cut it. You're going to send it to the printer. And when it comes to cutting it out, you're going to make sure that you do not mirror it again because of sublimation. That will cancel the first mirror. Okay. And then also for the basic cut, you go to custom and you do glitter vinyl in the custom settings with your Cricut machine. And I don't believe that we were able to do that from the phone. Um, Maybe if I turn on the Cricut, then it'll find it through Bluetooth and you can go it through it that way. Okay, so I will be back once I'm cutting out my vinyl and everything like that. And we'll continue on with this project. See you guys soon. All right, you guys. So I just went ahead and let my Cricut cut my glitter vinyl. I'm going to show you guys what that looks like right now. Okay. So let me grab some scissors. Right. so I got some scissors and I'm just going to cut out what it cut for me all right now we could have made this easier by making sure that it um, 
stays attached like we did with the printed image and then we could have easily aligned it but i want to save my glitter vinyl i don't have a lot left and i may end up redoing this project again so i wanted to make sure that i minimize the use of my glitter vinyl okay And we are just weeding that very easily. The easier your design is, the less cuts and um, curls and curves, the easier it is for the Cricut to cut it out and the easier it will be for us to align it. I have one more piece right here. Pikachu had to be, you know, extra. And that is our two right here. And we are just going to press these on the mug and then press our um, printed image on top of that. Our printed image just got finished printing and I'm going to put it on my hair and get ready to uh, get ready to press it. Now it should be opposite of this, which it is because this will be on the mug like this and then this will come and be reversed with it just like that, if you guys can see that. So this will be on the mug already and we're going to be putting that on top of it, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and get these cut really quickly to make sure that I align it all correctly. All right, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and put this into the press and have it cut it out. All right. This is finished cutting. I'm gonna go ahead and read it, which should be pretty easy, just by pulling the big part off. Whew. All right, almost done. I'll put some extra tape on there, so that's why it's sticking. I'll clean it off later. Or should I cut it off now? It doesn't bother me mentally okay got the most of it all all right so now we have our two images and i'm just hoping pikachu separates from that little white piece on the inside but no i'll just weed it off and we are taking off bulbasaur and we got that too okay so now I have my heat press here, ready um, ready to, well, it's heating up actually. And I'm just going to leave that one little piece out of Pikachu while we wait. Okay. And try not to touch the, uh, the printed side too much because it can mess with the ink and the sublimation coating. All right, so I got that off. Okay. So here we are, we are waiting for our mug to heat up. I'm going to work on our piece of paper to cover it. How much do I need? Just about that much. Teflon paper, but I do see something green on it, so I'm a little nervous. I don't need all of it. I'll take that part off just to be cautious, all right? So we are still waiting for this to heat up. I'm going to go ahead and align Bulby and Pikachu, okay? So we're going to go ahead and add our glitter HTV. I'm going to make sure that it's on there good. I want them to be aligned a little bit better. Maybe I can use the lip up the top. 
to align it a little bit better. And good. There we go. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with Pikachu on the other side. All right, so now it is heated up and ready to go. So what I'm going to do is just make sure that it's pressed down as much as possible, okay? And this is a thick mug from Dollar Tree. It is pretty thick, okay? So what I have to do, what I like to do. Also, this mug has a lip. Dollar Tree doesn't always have the smooth, easy um, white mugs. They either have something on it or have lips and different things on that, like that. This one does have a lip, so I'm just going to try to get around that by um, when I put my mug inside I'm going to stop it right to where that lip is because it can go all the way but then it won't heat up the the inside I don't believe okay so from here I'm just going to begin to push down on the mug press latch until I get it all the way closed nice and slow all right so I think I'm going to let it get to the, maybe the first or the second circle before I decide to take off, um, to take it off with the heat transfer vinyl and then I'm going to put it back with the sublimation. All right, so I'm just waiting for that and I will be back. So I don't want my mug to crack so it already made it to the second dot i'm going to go ahead and take it off because this is trial and error i have the idea but i didn't have the uh, i never tried it out okay so this is what it looks like when i take it out there's no cracks or anything just a little dust i need to clean out from dollar tree all right i'm going to try to take this off Maybe I should let it cool a little bit for the HTV to come off well. This side is good. That side is already coming off well. And I think it's okay because we're gonna throw it back on here anywho. I just need to separate it from the transfer sheet. I don't want it to overheat or to crack. So I'm gonna start separating it from the transfer paper. Okay. could be being a bit impatient you guys which will come back and bite me in the buttocks all right so now we got that separated all right so what I'm going to try out is I'm actually going to try to put this on here Oh, what I can do, guys. Let's be innovative. We're going to put it on here. On our paper. Maybe I can face you down. Put it on this paper. Like this now. And put it back. You guys, this is hot, so if you don't have a high heat tolerance, do not, do not do it this way. Just let it cool off, okay? Just let it cool down. Shifting, so I'm going to put some 
heat transfer tape on here and then try it out. Let me go get my heat transfer tape. You guys so I was able to get it aligned all right so that's what we're looking like side I think it cooled down just a little bit more than the Pikachu side let's see if it's sticking at all so that is sticking much better once you let it cool down so don't be anxious like me I just don't know if I've seen this video done yet and I've been wanting to do it for so long but just been busy all right so I'm gonna use that same paper and maybe we can align it up with this, no, we can't. You sure? Oh, guys, another hat. I'm going to align it with how it was before. Might make it easier to line up this time. Okay. So I aligned it with where it was before with the cut. It kind of mm -hmm. leaves a score a bit. Okay, okay. Patience is a very true, and the second time's a charm. So now we're just lining this up here. Just like that. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I don't really see any sticking out past this. Don't move. I moved. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to go ahead and tape that. all right you guys so i'm just gonna make sure it's taped pretty well and it is off just a teensy bit hopefully that doesn't make much of an issue i'm gonna go ahead and throw it back onto the mug press so do we even need something yeah i'm not playing about my mug press okay this is new all right so i'm gonna take it from here cut something around here is that long enough almost yeah just about here okay and we are going to drop it inside of the mug press again and then stop where that lip is all right i think i went down enough and i'm just going to start closing it and we are going to let it get to the 
Let's try to get to the uh, one, two, three, four. Maybe the fourth circle. Let's get to the fourth circle because I don't know if these are minutes or how many seconds it is. I have to figure that out um, when I time it, but hopefully it'll be enough to um, get my sublimation to transfer and I will be back. All right, you guys, so we made it to the fourth indicator light. I'm going to go ahead and stop pushing my luck before we get a crack and break somebody's mouth. That, okay, so let me go ahead and, um, honestly, I forgot. Do I just lift it up, y'all? Like, all right. Just going to lift it up and out. Now, if you do sublimation, you know that when you see the color, that it worked. Now... I feel like I see bleeding around Pikachu, meaning that it um, got on the Dollar Tree mug a little bit. Uh, but on Bulbasaur's side, it looks really good. So what I'm going to do is just put this on my Teflon sheets to let it cool down and not burn through my table. I also have a coaster if you guys want to try to using coasters when you do it. Um, I'm just going to let this cool down and once it cools down to touch, I will come back with my little hot hands with my little eager heart and do a reveal on did it work? Is it possible to sublimate on a Dollar Tree mug? Just using a little bit of just mints with Glitter HT Vinyl. This is Sister Glitter HT Vinyl. We all know that we can sub, a lot of us know that we can sublimate it on it with um, cotton shirts and different stuff like that when you put the HTV on the cotton shirt first and then sublimate on top of it but i wanted to try that theory on a mug because i love being a trailblazer and trying new things and i was hoping that i did it before anybody else did so let's see if this works if it did y'all we on a whole new ball game go ahead and stock up on your dollar tree blank mugs because it's going down so when it cools down i'll be back all right you guys so i can absolutely touch the mug now it is still warm but once again i told you guys about my anxious heart my eager hands okay so I'm gonna just start taking off my tape and everything y'all ready to see all of our lives change and not have to go to Amazon well the paper stuck a little bit but I wonder if we can just wipe that right off I'm going to probably take like some alcohol and rub it over this part to see if that paper will come off. But besides that, it looks nice. It's not coming off. Oh, maybe I can just scratch it off. It's holding on and we'll do a wash. We'll wash it, but I don't think we can wash it while it's still hot because it could explode. Okay. Do the same thing with Bulbasaur. All right. Bulbasaur being all, you know, taking its time, coming off right and stuff. All right, might be stuck actually. Right, you guys. And there is Bulbasaur. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, or maybe we can just use soap and water. Let's go ahead and use some soap and water to wash this. Dry it off and see if it stays. So, let's see. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna start off with some pretty hot water just to see, make sure that it doesn't crack from being hot. All right. And then I'm going to change the temperature of the water. 
Okay. Super hot water. You guys can see the steam probably. Put it for hot water. All right, so we have it submerged in water. I'm gonna grab some soap, soapy hands. Grab it and just start trying to get that paper off. I'm not sure if that's like a tone of Bulbasaur or if it's coming off. Let's see. You guys, I think we did it. Oh, that's hot. So, soap and water. Maybe we could sublimate it for less time so that it doesn't get all that paper on it. Because that's what I'm trying to get off. But besides that, you guys, we're looking good. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of that temperature down. still having a hard time getting a few bits of paper off it's not completely budging but I'm guessing over time it may yeah maybe we heated it up too much okay so over here it could have been shadowing or not um, sitting perfectly well but it looks a little light there but Bulbasaur looks good still some paper there Guess we just gotta find out a way to get the paper off or not press it as long. I'll probably do another video now knowing what I know before the, tr oh my God, look how pretty that is. Oh my freaking gosh. I'm gonna take a picture. Look at that, that was so pretty. Okay, boom. All right, you guys, so that is um, our Dollar Tree Sublimation Mug. If you guys do want me to try anything else, please let me know. I'll also probably be showing you guys how to do just regular sublimation uh, mugs with the Cricut Mug Press and anything else, you guys. I was really big on Cricut back in the day. Please pull me back in comment comment ask me questions motivate me to get back because i could have been like auntie faye auntie i think it's auntie faye auntie tay i could have been up there but i've been slacking could y'all please help us with the eye could y'all see my talent i'm just so talented you know okay so back to reality okay this is it you guys that is it um if you guys try this out please mention me you guys like let's bring each other up let's be great um mention me you know uh send people our way and we can keep doing things together if you guys want to do something together let me know but that's it so i will see you guys next time this was just a big project me thinking hard figuring it out trying things out and i appreciate you guys sitting with me and i will see you guys next time here on how to telly peace